If you've been online at all recently, you've probably seen people saying that the U.S. government has confirmed the existence of aliens. The claim started popping up after a former federal employee made some dramatic statements in a congressional hearing. But what did the hearing actually reveal or not reveal? Let's verify with these sources. First, did the U.S. government say aliens are real? We can verify, no, it didn't. Some individual former members of the military claimed they had either seen evidence of non-human aircraft or believed they had seen such crafts themselves in flight. But no government organization has announced any evidence or belief that aliens have been found on Earth. That said, we can verify that Congress and the Department of Defense are investigating UFOs. A few years ago, the New York Times published accounts from Navy pilots who said they saw unexplained aerial phenomena, UAPs, the official government term for UFOs. Congress demanded more transparency from the Pentagon about similar reports, and a DOD task force was created to review them. Since then, a number of congressional hearings have been held to discuss the findings and the task force's operations. So did the task force find any actual evidence of UFOs? The answer to that one requires some context. UFOs or UAPs can refer to anything in the air the task force can't clearly explain. A lot of the reports end up being space junk, weather balloons, or even Chinese drones. Some they don't have explanations for, but that doesn't mean they're alien spacecraft. The most recent hearings have attracted special attention because of this man, David Grush. He's a former Air Force intelligence officer who calls himself a whistleblower, claiming the government has found non-human vessels and even non-human biomatter. He says the government has been collecting this evidence for nearly a century and covering it up. His testimony was under oath, but he didn't provide many details, repeatedly telling the committee he'd only tell them in a classified briefing. It's unclear if such a briefing has taken place. Here are some key points about his testimony. First, he did not provide any physical evidence to back his claims. In fact, at no point in these hearings has any physical evidence of aliens or documents proving a cover-up been presented. And second, he didn't even claim to have seen any physical evidence himself. All his testimony was hearsay. In other words, stuff he says other people told him when he briefly worked with, but not for, the task force. That means it's possible he misheard or misrepresented what he was told, or that the people who told him misrepresented what they saw, resulting in a sort of game of UFO telephone. Experts say testimony like this is actually not uncommon in American history. Dating back to at least the 1950s, there have been federal employees, including high-ranking military officers, who have claimed a UFO cover-up. But none have ever been borne out by evidence, and many were similarly dependent on hearsay. So, are we alone in the universe? That's one mystery we cannot verify. But there's been no actual evidence presented at these hearings that aliens are real. With your Verify, I'm Casey Decker.